Hello, today's devotional can be found in the topical index under reality, real or really. In reference to Joseph Smith history, chapter 1, verse 6. Good feelings of priests and converts are more pretended than real. Okay, so here's the thing. And around the time of Joseph Smith Jr., there was a religious fervor in the area. And priests pretended to believe religion so that they could preach it and gain followers and become well known. But they did not really have the full picture. They did not, not truly believe what they were preaching, nor did they fully understand it. They made up interpretations according to what they were comfortable with. And thus they interpreted God in ways that didn't entirely make sense to everyone. And so there were so many religions at that time that it caused a great deal of confusion among the people. We need to have feelings and knowledge about that which we profess to be true. We need to know what we are investing ourselves in when it comes to religious teachings. And we need to believe in it. Because without believing or knowing about the religion that we invest ourselves into, we are just really walking blind. It's not bad to invest this oneself in a belief or a religion, but we have to know and understand what we're getting ourselves into before we claim to commit to, to it or our commitment is just are just words. And words do very little in this day and age. A lot of religions require commitment to show that you are truly invested in learning what that gospel has to teach. They give you the choice of whether or not to commit, but to become spiritually enlightened, commitments are necessary and they will help you to spiritually grow and progress. Only if you understand it though, you shouldn't make any commitments to any sort of belief or religion unless you understand the beliefs or what the religion is trying to teach you and unless you agree with it you shouldn't do something just because somebody expects you to or tries to coerce you to we all have our right to agency and we shouldn't pretend to have feelings and beliefs in something that we don't care about or truly believe in because then people will expect us to take action and show our commitment to things if we pretend to believe in it. And to pretend to believe in something that we really don't is hypocrisy. And God does not like hypocrisy. He is a God who would rather see us be happy and be ourselves than to pretend to be something and believe things that we we are not and don't believe in just to make others happy life is so very short it's too short to invest our time in trying to make others happy at at the sacrifice of our own happiness our feelings need to be genuine we cannot pretend to like or believe something that we don't and expect to get very far with it. Our, our saying that we believe or like something when we really don't may cause confusion in others and they may question their own belief. But if we go and believe in something and say we like something when there, our feelings are genuine, we'll be able to find what we need in it because everyone seeks religion or beliefs in search of something in search of an answer in search of comfort whatever and when their feelings when their intention is pure wanting to truly find an answer they will find what they seek and they will come to the peace of having found something but when we pretend 
to like or believe something that we don't. We're not going to find anything but confusion and resentment for the fact that we're investing our time in something that has no meaning to us. And we're going to be more than likely to walk away from it, even though it may be able to bless us. This is why having a genuine belief is so important, genuine feelings, so that we can find peace in whatever we're seeking. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.